All right, guys, car version of Big Bites. Um, this is kind of a big one. So the whole reason I honestly made these little videos for myself was because of one restaurant. Like every single time I ate at that restaurant, I couldn't remember if it was good or not before I ate it. And yeah, yeah, like this is a big deal. So um, let's just get straight into it. Uh, I... Yeah, talking about Arby's here, folks. So I legitimately don't remember if it was good. Like I know it's serviceable. I know when you go to places like Arby's and you get something for three dollars, they're two for six right now. They're on the special. But when you get a sandwich for three bucks, right? You kind of entered into a contract knowing I'm not getting something that's going to be crazy good. But is it serviceable? You know what I mean? It's like when I go to McDonald's, I'm not expecting. A fantastic burger experience I'm just trying to shove some calories into my mouth and you know sometimes you just need to do that so um, your standard beef and cheddar sandwich what's interesting about these wrappers is like I don't know if this is a maze or something like that but when you look inside of it you see those little things like I don't are they like geometrically applying my sandwich into position for maximum wrapper coverage I'm not sure so um yeah you got you got the little seeds on top little onion i get mine without red ranch just simply because i remember not liking red ranch so that's the only thing i remember is not liking that so we've got to make sure we get a good cheddar filled bite because i don't know if i'm going to eat this entire thing there's a really good sandwich shop right here and i might just honestly like eat a little bit of this and then go get a sandwich but um yeah the ratio is not good on the standard beef and cheddar. You got to get like the double. Actually, I actually have two. I could probably make this a double, but I'm not going to because we got to we got to hurry up. So. That was a weird bite. I mean, it's okay. The meat has like a weird texture. Hmm. It's interesting. It's like I'm putting way more thought into this than I need to, but the texture of the meat is not something that I remember. Like with a good cut of roast beef, it's gonna have a little bit of um, almost like a snappiness to it when you bite down into it. This is almost like a little bit rubbery to where there's like a, a re bleh, there's like a necessity to chew a ton, um, which isn't bad, but I mean, it's just different. It's just different. Um, yeah, so future Jeff, when you re watch this and you're going like, man, do I like Arby's or not? just know that i got you if you're in a really bad place mentally and you just need to get some calories and you go ahead get arby's if you have an opportunity to go somewhere else you should probably do it so that's it for this episode of big bites hope you enjoyed it